Hi everybody, this is Gary Fong, and we have done so many videos in what we call the Ugly Room series, where I teach you how to do flash supplemental lighting by mixing the ambient so that you can take anywhere and make a beautiful studio anywhere, anytime by subtracting the ambient light. In this series, I'm going to call this the Beautiful Room series, where we actually take a room that looks beautiful and we show you how to make it uh, look much better by mixing in the elements in the background of the ambient lighting. What I'm going to do here when we're shooting indoors is we want to have a lot of the tungsten lighting uh, effects like for example lamps on shades and things like that or chandeliers or anything that's uh, tungsten because it's going to be very very warm lighting. Then what we want to do is we want to mix in in a very subtle way the lighting effects that are used with flash. That flash lighting will come on the subject's face through the use of a snoot with a grid. That'll give us our very dramatic angular photo plus the separation between the subject in the front and the background in the rear which will basically just look like a bunch of glowing warm light. Also on the hair light I'm going to have a snoot with an amber tab that will basically give the backlighting on the hair and a lot of separation between the subject and the background. So what we want to do is we want to achieve a couple things. One is we want to bring in the room but not bring in the room and make it distracting. We want to bring in the room and make it look very beautiful. Then we want to layer on it the layer of speed light flash but do it almost invisibly so that you really can't tell that it's flash. And then we want to have a lot of separation between the subject and the background and I'm going to achieve that by shooting at a very wide open aperture. In this case, I'm going to be shooting with a Sony A6000 with a Zeiss 55mm f1.8 wide open. All of those things combined together are very, very simple to do, and I'm going to teach you step by step how to dial in that exact setting and how to set up in the room, and then we'll show you the shot that we got. Okay, so let me explain the setup that I have right here so you can duplicate the exact same results. On my tripod, I have a Sony A6000 with a Zeiss 55mm f1.8 lens. There is a Sony flash on here, which is in controller mode only with the flash itself not contributing to the exposure of the subject, and this is something that's covered in detail in my other videos. Over there, uh, you see that little red blinking light right there? That is a snoot directly on the model's face. and the reason we're going to have that on there is to create a separation between her face and the background. As you can notice here, the background is all about tungsten lighting. We've got lamps, and I actually have her centered in between two lamps, which gives a lot of warmth to the background. Then I have right behind her, you can see a, a dome with an amber tab inside and what that's going to do is that's going to dramatically light the hair. So the trick is now is to try to do our shot uh, with flash but make it not look like flash. Now I'm going to show you an image taken with available light so I'm just going to go ahead and turn the um, flash off. So this is regular non-flash and uh, available light. Okay. Still nice lighting. I have some really nice wrap a lot around lighting, but it's a little bit bland. So we want to just really jazz this up a bit. So I'm going to take my camera and I'm going to put it, take it off of I auto ISO because what we want to do is we want to be able to control how much light the back background contributes. Then we're going to put the camera into manual mode. And the manual mode gives you the ability to control what the uh, background sees. Okay, so now we're going to mix the background. So you can see right here we're at 1 60th of a second. You see when I change the shutter speed, it changes the exposure of the background. What we want to do in this mode is decide how much background we want to have. So if I'm all the way up here to 1 500th of a second, there's very little background. And when I take it down here, there's going to be a fairly nice mix at, say, 1 25th of a second. Um, what you just did, but up and backwards a little bit. Yep. I'm going to change the shutter speed right there. And let's see. <gasps> wow, this is really, we're on to something. Yes. With the way that you had your hands on your hips and everything is absolutely the one we want to go with because it fits this angle and everything. 
Okay, wonderful. And then that's it right there. And now move a little this way. Yeah, right there. Good, 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 good. Okay, let's see how that looks. Wow, and nice.